Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great and have had a wonderful week and are having a great day of celebration there today. And uh, I know we're going to be doing some serious celebrating uh, up this way also. Uh, Monday and Tuesday are mine and my little grandson's birthday. We're going to be 63 and 9, and boy, we're going to just do it up and right. Well, no, that's not the real reason we're going to be celebrating. Although it is our birthdays, the real reason we're celebrating is our Lord and Savior Jesus. Because he is risen, he is risen indeed. Uh, I hope you guys there at Lawson are having a wonderful morning of praise and worship for our Lord and our Savior. You know, over in the over 52 years that I've been playing my horn, I've been wonderfully blessed to play in some really cool places. I got to go and play in Scotland for 10 days, and I played a gig where we were being simulcast on TV in Toronto and in Rome at the same time. And I've got to do lots of recordings, and it's just been a wonderful blessing. But I've also uh, made numerous uh, things that were just, you know, what people might really say, are you kidding me kind of gigs? Or are you crazy to go play that kind of place? Now, I've played some questionable places. I've played some garage sales, some bingo nights, parties where only a couple of people showed up. And uh, even got asked to leave one time because we weren't playing the right kind of music. But we were playing the exact songs that they'd asked us to. But you know, I guess the oddest thing that I've ever been asked to play was for a funeral of a gentleman that uh, went to the church where we used to go to. Now, funerals themselves aren't really that, that big of a deal and aren't very odd, but the song that they requested was. Now, what they wanted me to do was after the preacher got through talking, they wanted me to stand up there and they wanted me to play Because He Lives. Now, you know, I was thinking, now, wait a minute, a guy just died and you want me to play Because He Lives. Now, at that time, I thought that was about the craziest thing that I'd ever heard of. But, you know, like some 2,000 plus years ago, uh, when the disciples heard that uh, Jesus wasn't in the tomb and that he was risen, they must have been thinking the same kind of thing. Well, that's just the craziest thing I've ever heard. Uh, even though Jesus had told them exactly what was going to happen to him, nothing like that had ever taken place before. It was just crazy to think that Jesus was alive. But, you know, they couldn't deny it. They'd seen it for themselves. He wasn't in the tomb. And over the next several days and a couple of weeks, uh, they'd see him again and again. They just couldn't deny it. It was true. Jesus was alive. Well, today, a lot of people in the world, they just continue to think that it's crazy to believe that Jesus died and that he rose again. How could something as crazy as that ever happen? But, you know, we know better. Not only was there physical proof at the time of his resurrection, but it's been proven again and again afterward. And the Bible also told us that it was going to happen just as Jesus said that it would. Now, this is not only our basis of faith, but it's our hope for eternal life. Now, while Jesus may have been crucified and buried in the tomb, we can celebrate because he lives. <laughs>
guys have a wonderful Easter.